um, why don't you have your human face on? They didn't finish it for you? Well, don't they know that you're supposed to go out today? Oh dear, they've been very confused lately. Alright, um, no matter, we'll just do it here. Okay? Um, do you happen to know what time you're supposed to go? Oh, we've got a few hours. Oh, that's perfect, okay. In that case, we can always alter anything that you may not like or anything that you think is just, you know, a little adjustable. Did you have any certain ideas regarding your human face? You don't mind? Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see. Why do I have the face model? Oh, no, I cannot turn you into me. That would be a little bit difficult, seeing as I have already been to Earth. And I have not necessarily talked about my, uh, mm, situation. I think it would alarm most, most humans. And besides, uh, I did mention I didn't have any human siblings, or siblings <laughs> at all, and, um, let alone twins. So I think it would be odd if there was an exact double of me out there. Well, yes, I know that there are lookalikes, but I feel like I don't know enough to uh, really, you know, make it uh, perfect. <laughs> yes, yes. So we'll go with a basic design here, okay? We can always adjust. We can adjust any sizes, we can adjust the colour, okay? Um, this is the base model that we have. Let me show everybody, okay? So, with this version, obviously the avatar has uh, its eyes closed, but we can still always adjust the eye colour, okay? Yes, the iris, exactly. The pupils uh, remain black, okay, just like they do with us. Our eyes obviously have a much darker shade, so we need to lighten that up a little bit. Unless you want to tell everybody on Earth that you're wearing contact lenses all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It didn't work in the Twilight film, and it's not going to work now either, so. so we're going to work with this, okay? Do you find the base shape okay? Yeah? Okay. So, obviously, we're going to adjust the colour. We're also going to adjust some hair, if you would like. Mm hmm Yes. Uh, would you prefer thicker eyebrows or thinner eyebrows? Okay, let me just... Why? out a little bit. Yes. So essentially we would darken these as well and adjust them to your hair colour that you have on your scalp. Okay? Yes. You could also do a different colour, really. I've seen humans with uh, dyed hair, say purple or blue or green or anything, and they tend to just have like a darker brow or sometimes very uh, bleached brows, although that's not very good for the skin and we don't want to disrupt the uh, fake skin as well as any skin, so we want to be very, very careful with that. Yes, we will be changing the structure of your skin. Uh, didn't the other scientists work with you on this? Oh, they were just in the design phase? Okay. Yeah. Well, you will be experiencing no pain at all, okay? We will be giving you a little injection, okay? And that is going to numb the face just a little bit so that it just feels like a slight tickle. Yeah? Okay. Not to worry. Okay. What about lashes? Medium. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We'll just go with a few lines here, just like so. Now you won't have to worry about the lips because we are going to be applying 
permanent human makeup, okay? So it can be as dramatic or as simple as you'd like it, okay? If it's just supposed to be a, uh, a fresh glow from when you've just washed your face to a full-on uh, a clown look, <laughs> shall we say. Yeah, anything is possible. So, we're just going to define this a little bit. What about a cupid's bow? Okay, we can do that. Going to fill this out a little bit. Okay, I'd say the nose shape we can keep like this. The airflow will uh, function just as it does with your regular nose. Okay, and for the ears, they're going to be a lot less pointy than ours, so we're just going to have to sculpt that down a little bit. But since our skin is very springy, it should go back to normal in no time. Yeah. You are on this uh, secret mission for, I believe, 20 days, correct? Okay. Make sure nobody falls in love with you, okay? Yeah, you don't want to cause any heartache. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> right. So, I'm going to keep that like that. Some shading for cheekbones. Okay. Then we're just gonna shade the forehead a little bit as well. Okay. Alright. Okay. That looks fine. Let's put that aside. So, we're just gonna take this little tool here. Okay. We're going to. Take this in steady here. Right. I'm just going to insert that into the sides of your face like so. Very gently. Good. And here as well. Work that in. Just work it in. Nice and gently. Okay. Better that, better that, better that. Okay. And we know that it works when we can brush over your face and you feel nothing, but you can feel a gentle poke with the other tool I'm going to show you in a moment. Okay, so we're just going to use this brush here and gently brush, brush, brush. Did you feel that? A little bit? Okay, can wait another few seconds. So, close your eyes for me. Can you feel that? A little less? Okay. What about this dotting tool here? Can you feel that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Is it a sharp or dull sensation? Mm hmm. Okay. You didn't feel that? Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Felt nothing. Good. Poking tool again. Mm -hmm. Only a very light sensation. Perfect. I think we are ready to go in that case. Let's put this brush away again. Let me just start up the tool here because we are going to melt your skin. It sounds scarier than it is. 
just going to set it to the right temperature. Also move about these little pointers that will be able to help the skin heal better later on. for this, okay, using the reference picture that we have there. So I'm just going to move the chin a little bit. Good. Also the nose, make that nice and smooth. Great. may feel a little tickle, but no pain at all, right? Okay, good. Right, moving up the jaw here, softening the jaw a little bit. Good. Moving up, 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 giving the cheekbones more space. Gently moving the temples up and towards the center to move the eyes closer towards one another as well. Okay, move the upper part of the brow here. Good. Really shape that nicely, the brow bone. Mm -hmm. And pat, 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 pat the forehead, pat, 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 and then the ears as well, of course. Okay, good. Also going to flatten that out. blink for me. No problem there. Okay, perfect. So, I'm going to just measure here. Let's see if everything's looking good and even. scrub to your face. Now, the scrub is technically liquid, okay, but it has tiny little particles in there that scrub uh, very gently on your face to get the blood flow going, and make sure that everything is working properly and it doesn't feel too tight. Yeah, okay, because I know that can happen occasionally after sculpting. 
taking a cotton pad gently soaking it okay right gently coat that we only need one cotton pad so I'm gonna go over the ears first like so and just gently work this Okay, good. Very Take this off again. This will simply soak into your skin until you're nice and refreshing. refreshing perfect okay so to see if everything is working as it should I'm going to perform a tiny little uh, cranial nerve exam type thing okay so for instance I would like you to keep your head very still okay focus on the center of my face and just follow my finger with your eyes mm-hmm are you having any difficulties doing this? No? Very good. Okay, could you follow the measuring tape? Yeah? Okay, a bit faster. Okay, perfect. Now, what about... Uh, hmm. what about this cube? Can you follow this? Mm -hmm. Okay, what are the colours inside this cube? Can you see them all? It's a bit tricky, isn't it? Because the liquid is also very sparkly. Yeah. So we have blue and pink balls and the walls are being separated by these very neon green or yellow green light. Yeah. Uh, these little sheets here. They have triangular shapes with little circle shapes inside. A bit difficult to see there, isn't it? Because of all the bubbles and all that. But you can see this just fine. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's try a little light. So, keep looking straight ahead, okay? We're going to shine the light into your peripheral vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, can you follow the light? Mm hmm Any difficulty? No? Perfect. Okay, look up for me. Okay, look down. Good to 
your right, to your left. Okay, perfect, good. So, could you close your eyes for me? I'm going to just slightly tug. Yeah. Mm-hmm, okay, try to resist, try to resist. Very, very good, okay. Let's do some facial expressions. Could you smile for me? Big, big, big smile. Okay, good. Angry face. Pouty face. Good. Sad face. Okay. And like a snarly face. Good. Okay, perfect. That seems to be no problem there. Does it feel tight around the skin? No? Okay. That is actually perfect. This means that your skin is very, very suitable for the uh, sculpting process. So that is perfect. Uh, we may be sending you down quite a few times if you are willing to do so, of course. That is looking perfect. Okay. Now, let's see here. Just before we move on here, I just want to see for later on if we use these lashes or if they're a little bit uh, too much, I think. They look quite big now, but you would be surprised if we apply them. They actually look quite, uh, quite small, but uh, if you just feel along the hairs, do you think that that would be okay? Yeah. I don't think it would be too much, and if it is a little bit too much, we can just shorten the length or maybe do something about the volume. Yes, absolutely, no problem. Okay, we have a few uh, wigs here that you could get inspired by if you'd want to have a look in the corner over there. Mm -hmm. We can give you a nice little haircut if you'd like. We could, uh, we could leave them as they are, really. I mean, some of them are pre-styled, so whatever you prefer. Okay, good. Yes, and uh, regarding uh, fashion, you can just really wear whatever you'd like. I mean, a lot of people prefer to go with a certain subgenre of fashion. Uh, say, if you like a more alternative look, you could go with something uh, towards goth or a little more punky, or maybe a slightly more vintage, more elegant look, uh, sporty, um, very loose fitting clothing. Uh, you can do anything you'd like, really. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. There's quite a lot of choice on earth right now. Yes. So, moving on with the eyes, okay. I would like you to tell me if you can focus on this finger here. Yeah. Can you focus on this? Good. I'm going to move these fingers individually, okay? But you have to look at the center of my face. Yeah? Okay. Can you tell me without peeking which hand I'm moving? Your right? Good. Left. Left. Right. Perfect. Very, very good. Okay. Right. I'm going to move my hands inward, like so. I want you to tell me when you can see both fingers. Keep your head steady, like so. Focus on the centre of my face. I want you to keep your head steady, like so. Focus on the centre of my face. Good. Very good. Mm-hmm. This way. Yep. Good. Other way around, when do the fingers disappear? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Next we're going to go with three different drops that I want you to smell, okay? Just dot, dot, dot. Okay. And this one. Dot. Good. Okay. So, what does 
this smell like? Coconut, good. What about this? Cherry, what about this? Eucalyptus, perfect. Very, very good. Alright, now as for taste, let's see. Here. So, you put on your finger. Okay. Okay. I'll give you a little droplet here. What does that taste like? Pineapple. Perfect. What about this one? Apple. Very, very good. One more. Let's pick a tricky one. fast. Yeah, honey melon. Very, very good. Okay, excellent. Now, I'm going to be also testing your ears here. Okay, you close your eyes and tell me where you hear this sound. Mm -hmm. Good. this with a different type of sound next. Where do you hear this sound? Good. What about now? Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Let's have a little look into your ears as well. Just to make sure that everything's looking Yep. Lovely. Okay. Good. So, we've done all that. Um, I'd say for the proper stylized part, we can do that later on. But, um, would you like a bit of a scalp massage before we go in with the wig? Yeah? Okay. You can close your eyes for this if you would like. I'm going to also apply a bit of oil your scalp, okay, to make it more enjoyable and also um, help your scalp feel less irritated when wearing the wig. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I was actually going to talk to you about that. So the wig that you will be wearing, you can take off at night time, but do make sure that you take enough um, adhesive to apply throughout the next few days, okay? Yes, okay. So shall we start the scalp? Massage, you close your eyes. Perfect, okay. Um, if you feel yourself nodding off, that is no problem, okay? I'll just wake you up in about an hour. Yeah, okay. I'm really, really excited for this adventure. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be lots of fun. If you have any questions at all, um, feel free to always ask me. I'm going to be looking like this on Earth and we'll be stationed in a pretty uh, close area to one another, I think. So, yeah, should be great fun. Yes. Okay then. So, a scalp massage time. And then you can rest and sleep. Okay. I'll say goodnight to you now then. Alright.